MMVD stands for myxomatous or degenerative mitral valve disease, and it is by far the most common cardiovascular disease that, that we see in dogs. It's an acquired disease, so dogs aren't born with it. The prevalence dramatically increases as dogs age. It's most prevalent in our smaller dogs, but larger dogs can be affected with it too. And what happens in a degenerative mitral valve is that valve begins to leak over time as the animal ages and we recognize different stages of that disease. What we see in early disease is just the valve starts to leak a little bit, but the heart remains in normal size. Over time, the heart begins to enlarge. The heart will progressively get bigger, and once it enlarges, we consider the patient to be in stage B2 mitral valve disease. Fortunately, in most dogs, it's a relatively slowly progressive disease that's first developed in the middle to later one-third of life. And a lot of dogs never experience clinical signs or symptoms from this disease, but certainly some can. So it's incredibly important to recognize dogs that are likely to experience clinical signs. Uh, and now, fortunately, we can do something about that. Now for, for years, when we diagnosed heart disease, it was only an option to treat it if the animal had clinical signs, if they were coughing in respiratory distress or what we consider congestive heart failure. That all changed in 2016 with the publication of the EPIC trial. And what that trial showed is we can actually intervene earlier in mitral valve disease. If we recognize the dog is in stage B2, meaning they have the disease, the heart has begun to enlarge and enlarged to a substantial degree, then starting a medication before clinical signs prolongs survival, delays the onset of those clinical signs, and is clearly advantageous to the patient and to the client. And this was a massive, uh, one of the largest randomized placebo-controlled clinical trials uh, of veterinary cardiology where they randomized half of 360 dogs to, to get a placebo and half of them to get the drug pimobendin. It showed that in dogs that met these specific criteria for heart enlargement you, using echocardiography as well as chest x-rays that they benefit uh, from a delay of congestive heart failure by uh, on average about 15 months. In addition to that, it also showed a survival. So not only did they delay congestive heart failure, or these dogs experiencing clinical signs, it delayed their overall or prolonged their overall survival by about five months. What we recognize from the EPIC trial and some subsequent analyses of the EPIC trial is that the, the vet medin, the pimobendin, is actually causing the heart to shrink initially after it's received. And it's probably that reduction in heart size that is providing some of the long-term advantages that we see. What is interesting is that use of pimobendin uh, prior to the EPIC trial was really reserved for dogs in heart failure. The whole idea of vetmedin CA1 is that we now have a drug that can be used earlier in the course of disease once the heart just enlarges. We're thrilled that Vetmedin CA1 is now conditionally approved for dogs with preclinicals, ACVIM stage B2 myxomatous mitral valve disease because basically what that means is we get to prolong uh, the symptom-free period in this dog's lifespan. So we now have a drug that has been shown to substantially delay the onset of heart failure. And that's really the overall goal. We want to prolong the symptom-free period in a dog that has otherwise been deemed at relatively high risk of experiencing clinical signs from congestive heart failure. So it's, it's an important um, uh, weapon we can use to delay the onset of heart failure and these symptoms and, and also prolong overall survival. Vetmedin CA1 pimobendin is indicated for the delay of onset of congestive heart failure in dogs with stage B2 preclinical myxomatous mitral valve disease. 2019 ACVIM consensus statement. Vetmedin CA1 important safety information. Vetmedin CA1 pimobendin are for use only in dogs with preclinical MMVD that have a moderate or loud mitral murmur due to mitral regurgitation and cardiomegaly. Stage B2 MMVD 2019 ACVIM Consensus Statement. A diagnosis of MMVD should be made by means of a comprehensive physical and cardiac examination, which should include radiography and echocardiography.
The most common side effects seen in dogs with stage B2 MMVD while taking Vetmedin CA1 chewable tablets are cough, vomiting, diarrhea, lethargy, and localized pain, such as in the neck or legs. It is a violation of federal law to use this product other than as directed in the labeling. For more information, refer to the package insert. That Medin CA1 is conditionally approved by FDA, pending a full demonstration of effectiveness under application number 141-556. Adverse reactions not related to disease progression in dogs receiving Vetmedin CA1 Pimobindin included diarrhea, vomiting, pain, lameness, arthritis, urinary tract infection, and seizure.